G'day there, Rick here again, and they say a picture's worth a thousand words, and that's probably very, very true that, but uh, it's not only worth a thousand words, but it can also invoke some powerful emotions. So, why not add some images to your daily notes? Well, there's a new plugin out that interacts with Google Photos that allows you just to do that very thing. Let's get into it and have a look, shall we? Okay, so first thing to do, of course, is to install the plugin. Go down here to Settings, Caller Up, go to Community Plugins, Browse, just type in here Google, uh, and she should come up pretty quickly. There we go, Google Photos, it's installed. I've already put it in, so that's okay. So here we are here, and you normally would have to enable it, of course. So once that's done, you're all, you're all set and ready to go and configure it. Okay, once you've got the uh, plugin installed, you will then click on Options, which will then take you to the Options. And the first thing that you need to do is to get an API key from Google to make sure that you can interact with Google Photos from your Obsidian Vault. There is links here at the top of the page, uh, top of the plugin page, to the documentation, which goes through in excellent detail as to how you go about getting the API keys, the client ID and the secret key, which you put in here. And then you would press on this button here, the Open Photos API, to test that the link is working and that the Vault for Obsidian is linking back to Google Photos. All right, so that's the most important thing to do there to get the thing working in the first place before you go through setting up the rest of the options. Now that that's done, I'll just go through what changes that I've made to the plugin. I haven't touched the thumbnail widths or, or height. Um, I haven't touched the formats, I've left them there. I have changed the location where I want to save the thumbnails. I like to have all my attachments in the one folder. Uh, which so I've clicked a, a specific folder and then identified that here below. I haven't touched the markdown format and then down here we've got other settings uh, which I have turned on. Now this is the default to showing the photos from the note date. So if you are in your daily note, it will only pull up the photos from that day. And that's a handy little thing to have. You can sw switch it off as you'll see shortly. So, But if you leave it on, it's worthwhile. And the bottom one here is to make sure that your daily note format is in the same format as Google, this plugin wants to see it because it needs to know it's still it's looking at a daily note. So you need the date set up in the, in the way you've got it set in your daily note. So if you go back to your daily notes plugin here, you'll see that here is how you've got the daily notes format set. You can just copy that, control C, go back down to Google Photos, and back down here, take that, control V or command if you're on a Mac and paste that in and that will then get the dates working correctly. I have the full day as you can see up here in the in the date. I'll just close that so you can see it a bit better. There you go. Right, so now that's all set up and we're ready to go. Okay, so here we are in the uh, daily note for today. I've got it all folded up, but uh, never mind about that. So if I hit uh, Control or Command P, and you can have a hotkey for this, and then just type in Google, Google Photos, insert Google Photo, then the modal comes up and it tells me that there's no photos found for this day. Remember, it's a daily note, so it knows it's a daily note, so it's only looking for photos for today. If I turn the switch off, I then will go and get all the photos and I can put a photo in there. Where's the, there we go. Nice one there of uh, where I go for my walks on a daily basis. Now, if you go to, that's for the daily note. Oh, clicking on this little arrow here, once it's in there, will take you to Google Photos where the big photo is and you can do your editing or whatever. Now, if we go to a note, let's see, let's say this one, for example, about uh, universities uh, with AI power, and we'll just go in there to the note and hit again Control P, Google, insert note, or insert the photo, and of course they all come up. Now here where the date is, you'll see there's a little calendar. Now you can actually select it and go through your months or your days, etc., and pick which days there are, and it will only bring up the photos for that particular day. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to do a range, um, but I have left a note on the plugin developer's uh, GitHub account asking if that might be possible to be added as a feature because it would be nice to add the photos just even for one month or something or other like that. So that's all there is to it. That's, that's it. Simple way of uh, adding photos to your daily note and your notes. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers.